Hi everyone, this is Lyle from NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. In this video, we're going to get started on coding a Mars helicopter video game using block programming. The Mars helicopter is a technology demonstration mission designed to show that a small, lightweight helicopter can fly in the thin atmosphere of Mars. To complete this programming challenge, you'll need to download some files. The link at the end of this video will take you to a website with the files and more detailed instructions. We're going to use a free programming language called Scratch. You can create an account if you want to revisit and edit your project later, but you can simply click Create to get started. The first thing you'll need to do is get the helicopter to Mars. Select Upload a Backdrop from the Choose a Backdrop menu, browse to the files you downloaded earlier, and pick one of the Mars backdrop images. You should see your backdrop image in the stage area now. Next, add the helicopter by clicking Upload Sprite from the Choose a Sprite menu. Select the helicopter sprite that you downloaded. Since we haven't discovered life on Mars yet, let's get rid of the existing sprite by clicking on it in the Sprites window and clicking the X in the corner. Now you need to program controls for the helicopter. The Mars helicopter won't be controlled in real time with a joystick or a keyboard from Earth, but your game players will need some way to control the helicopter. Create blocks of code that will make your helicopter fly up, down, left, and right when certain keys are pressed on the keyboard. There is more than one way to code these controls, but try starting with a block that says when the green flag is clicked. This will give you more options to control your code as you get further into making your game. Look for an if-then block to add control to the helicopter, and figure out what needs to be added to make the helicopter move. Try looking at the sensing and motion code sections for useful blocks. If your helicopter doesn't seem to be moving after you click the green flag, make sure your code blocks are in a forever loop. Otherwise, the code will only run during the brief moment that you first click the green flag. Don't forget to include code that will keep your helicopter oriented with its rotor on top, no matter what direction it's traveling. If your code is working properly, you should get something like this. Next, you'll need to add a takeoff location. You can create code blocks that put the helicopter in the same location at the start of the game. Use X and Y coordinates from the stage area to mark a starting point. Like before, start with the when the green flag is clicked block. If you're not sure what to do next, try looking at blocks in the motion section. As a challenge, consider creating code blocks that make the helicopter start in random spots whenever the game is restarted. Now that your helicopter can fly and has a takeoff location, it needs a landing site. The Mars helicopter will start with a straight up and down flight. Later, its flights will become more complex and travel up to hundreds of meters. You'll need to create a landing site for the helicopter. While the helicopter on Mars won't have a landing pad, your game players will need to know where to land. You can draw a landing location with the backdrop costume editor, or you can add a sprite that will serve as a landing target. If you developed a code block to move the helicopter to random takeoff spots, try making code that moves the landing target to a different random location each time the game is started. The Mars helicopter flights could last up to 90 seconds. To add difficulty to the game, create a countdown timer that limits how long players have to get to the landing site. To do this, create a time variable that starts when the game begins and counts down to zero. Add code blocks that make the gameplay stop when the timer reaches zero. The timer should be long enough that the game can be won, but not so long that it's easy to win. Success for game players can be the same as success for the Mars helicopter mission. Mission success will be achieved when the helicopter makes its first controlled flight on Mars. So develop code blocks that announce mission success when the game players successfully fly and land the helicopter on the target. Now that you have the basics of your game coded, think of ways you can improve your game or make your code more efficient. Challenge family and friends to play your game and ask them for feedback on how it can be improved. Visit the URL on the screen or click the link in the video description to download the required files and see more suggested gaming features you can add through coding. Good luck and safe flying.